In today's video, I'm going to be doing this really pretty one and done makeup look featuring the Maybelline Single Shadow in Nude Glow. Hey guys, welcome back. If you are new here, my name is Julie and I'll help you find the best affordable beauty and drugstore makeup products. I'll show you how to enjoy your current makeup collection and help you to become more confident and elevate your beauty from the inside out by teaching you my best makeup techniques and sharing with you my most valuable life lessons. So if that resonates with you, you should subscribe and stick around. So today I wanted to I guess technically this is the first video in this series of one and done eyeshadows. I will link my other video above so you guys can check that out if you haven't seen that video yet. But I recently posted a video on my favorite one and done eyeshadows in my makeup collection. And I told you guys in that video, I was gonna start a series using each of those shadows in makeup looks just to show you, you know, how I come up with the rest of the look, like what other colors I put, to put together with it. And also so you can see what those shadows look like just on the eyelid. So I hope that you guys enjoy this full face tutorial with this one and done eyeshadow. So we have little Peppa P next to us today while I'm getting ready to film. She's just sleeping right over there in the chair. She's so cute. You can probably kind of see her there. I'm just going to insert the video so you guys can see it later. Oh, she's so cute. But yeah, that is one of her favorite napping spots in the house is to get in my chair back there and just lay down. So if you hear any snores or any noises, that's her back there. <laughs> Sometimes she saws logs whenever she falls asleep. <laughs> so as always, I went ahead and did my skincare off camera. So I will link down below the products that I used if you are curious. And then I'm gonna go in with my primer and I'm just using the e.l.f. Liquid Poreless Putty Primer. And this has just been my go-to primer right now. I really like it. It's very moisturizing and it does help your foundations to last longer. I still don't really know if I prefer this over the, um, the Power Grip primer. I kind of want to do a video. Maybe I can do that later this week on comparing the Power Grip primer to this one just to see if you know, maybe one of them helps your foundations last longer than the other one. I'm just like really curious about it. So maybe I'll film that later this week or maybe some other time, but I like both of them equally. It's just that this one doesn't get tacky like the Power Grip. And I'm just gonna moisturize my lips with my Vaseline Rosy Lips. And I'm just curious, let me know in the comments, do you guys like it when I pop up, I guess I do it on this side, when I pop up pictures of the products that I'm using, is that helpful for you guys? Do you like that? Or is that annoying to have those products pop up? <laughs> let me know in the comments because I kind of think that's helpful because I don't always hold the products up. And maybe if you're unfamiliar with the product, it helps you to know what you're looking for whenever you're at the drugstores or wherever you might be shopping. So let me know if you enjoy when I do that. Um, I'm going to go in with the Revlon Color Stay, and I probably should use some of my other foundations, but I've just been loving. Well, you guys know that this is my very favorite foundation. And I've just been enjoying using this on an everyday basis. But maybe tomorrow I'll use the Revlon Serum Tint. I have also been enjoying that foundation as well, like for a more luminous foundation. But Revlon Colorstay can never go wrong with this. And I'm just using the little spatty like tool to get the leftover foundations out of this bottle because... I'm almost out of this like I went ahead and ordered a new one because I've told you guys before I go through this foundation because I wear it pretty much daily 
And I always like to use the back of my hand as like a palette or yeah, like as a little palette to help me blend my foundations. I actually have one of those makeup artist palettes in my freelance makeup kit. And if I do makeup on other people, that's what I use instead of like using the back of my hand. So I guess I could always bust that thing out if I didn't want to put product on the back of my hand whenever I'm filming these videos. But honestly, that doesn't really bother me. I just get a damp cloth or um, like a makeup remover wipe to get the makeup off the back of my hand while I'm filming. But and that is something I have not done in a long time is freelance makeup on anybody. I was kind of doing wedding wedding makeup here and there like for friends or like friends of friends that were getting married. But I never had a full on freelance makeup business. It kind of just stresses me out a lot. So I don't really like doing it too much. <laughs> Sorry if I'm sniffling a lot today. My nose is a bit runny. Yesterday, Josh was not feeling well and his throat was hurting him and he kind of felt like he had a little bit of a headache. So hopefully, fingers crossed, he gets over that really soon and I don't get sick. Like, I'm gonna see if he can hear her. I'm gonna take the mic over there. She saw in locks. <laughs> to brighten my under eye circles, I'm using the Catrice Under Eye Brightener, and I've really been enjoying this product. Highly comparable to the Becca Under Eye Brightener. So, really like this product. So, I'm just going to tap that underneath my eyes just to brighten. I'm just using the e.l.f. Camo, the 16 hour camo concealer in shade Light Sand for my under eye concealer. One of my very favorite concealers from the drugstore. It's very full coverage, long wearing, and it works really nice on top of that Catrice under eye brightener. I'm just going to use a little bit more of this concealer down the center of my nose and right around my mouth where I have some acne scarring. And then of course to set everything I'm using the L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Powder and I'm just using my e.l.f. flat top brush to set everything. I'm going to try to be better with like linking the actual tools that I'm using to do my makeup. I'm not always the best at doing that. So, and I know like before I took my like three year break from YouTube, I always did a really good job of like linking my tools and all that. But to be honest with you guys, probably a lot of the makeup brushes that I use, they might not even be made anymore. They might be discontinued. So I'll still try to list everything. And if I can't find it online anymore, I'll just put like discontinued next to it. So you know that it's, you know, not available anymore. But I'm just using a little bit more of this powder just on my under eyes, just to set that. For my eyebrows, I'm going in with the e.l.f. Lash & Brow Clear Mascara. Then I let that dry. While I was letting that brow gel dry, I went in with the e.l.f. Eyeshadow Primer and primed my lids so that could be drying as well. Then I went in with a brow powder. I've been using the L'Oreal Brow Stylist Prep and Shape Pro Kit in the shade Medium to Deep to fill in my eyebrows and then I went back through with the clear brow gel to set everything in place. For the face, I've been using these products a lot in my videos, but I've just been enjoying 
this blush bronzer for the winter, but this is the NYX blush, the NYX HD blush in taupe. So I know that this product might be like a little difficult to find, but I do have a link for it through Amazon. So if you shop on Amazon, you can order it from there. I will have that linked down below as well as all of the products that I'm using today. Um, like I said, I'm going to try to be better about linking all of my brushes that I'm using. So to blend this around, I'm just using the Real Techniques buffing brush. I've been kind of playing around with like my different makeup brushes and just trying to decide like what brush I like using the most with bronzer. And I know that I've mentioned this in several of my Get Ready With Me videos last week, but you just have to be a little careful when applying this bronzer or this blush, just because if you apply too much, it can get a little ashy or like gray or muddy. So you just have to use a light hand with it. And now I'm going in with a Real Technique Real Techniques 300 brush. This was like a limited edition brush that they had and I'm pretty sure this is no longer available, but I think they still make the 300 brush. So I will just link that, that particular brush down below. Then I take a little bit of this and just kind of bronze up. Just kind of add a little bit of a shadow there. Just putting a little bit here on my nose. And it's like, I've already started to hit paint on this because <laughs> I've been using it so much. But I mean, I had already used this quite a bit before I started using it again. But this is one of those products I will go through because I've already like went through this once before and repurchased it. So it's definitely a well-loved product, especially in the winter months. And then with this look, I'm actually not gonna apply a blush, but... If you prefer having like more of a blushed look, you could use whatever blush you're into. I was debating on what highlight I wanna use. I pulled out the e.l.f. Baked Highlight and Blush Gems, but I also have the e.l.f. Contour Palette and this highlight shade here. They're both like my favorites. So I might actually use Blush Gems just cause I don't think I've used this too, in too many videos which I know that this is a discontinued product, so it might be a little hard to get, but I'm just going in with the Real Techniques. I'm not even for sure what this is called anymore. I'm pretty sure this was called like the Contour Brush, is, or is that what this one was called? Buffing, yeah, I think this is their Contour Brush. Like this came in a set with that buffing brush and like maybe a few other brushes. But this is more of like an intense highlight, which I really like with this winter, like more winter cool tones look. Then for the eyeshadow, just this one and done look, I kind of already did this look in last week's video where I was comparing the Makeup by Mario Surreal Skin Foundation and the, and the Revlon Luminance Serum Tint. But just in case maybe some of you guys haven't seen that video, I did want to do a standalone tutorial on this look because it is one of my favorite go-to looks and I just felt like it needed a standalone video. But I'm gonna be going in with the Maybelline Single Shadow in Nude Glow. And it's a really pretty rose gold shade. And I'm gonna go in first with the little sponge applicator and apply that all over the lid and also slightly up into the crease. So I think these sponge applicators are really useful for one and done eyeshadows. They're just easy to get that shade all over your lid, especially if you don't want to use your finger to apply it. And then I like to go in with like a blending brush. Sometimes I'll get just a little bit more of that product on the brush and then just go around the edges just to diffuse that so there's no harsh like edges to the shadow. 
and I'm just using the Profusion Dual Ended Brush. I'm not for sure if you can actually purchase this by itself. I got this with one of the large Profusion eyeshadow palettes, but it's one of my favorite brushes because I like how it's got just the flat shader side. So, you know, you could use this to apply that shade as well instead of the sponge, but I'm just showing you like a quick way to do this. Sometimes to give it more of like a cat eye shape, like I'll take a little bit on the tip of that brush and kind of pull it upwards and then pull it over. So see how it kind of makes that cat eye shape out there so that whenever I go to blend that out, it kind of keeps a little bit of that shape, but it's more like diffused. And if you didn't like taking a shimmery color up into your crease like this, you could always just apply that this shade just straight on your lid and then go in with a little bit of like your bronzer or like this contour and put it in your crease there. If you wanted a more matte look, it would be more than just like a one and done shadow, but it really wouldn't take much more steps to do that since you know you already have that out from where you bronzed your face up. And then sometimes I'll take a little bit more of the shade on the tip of this brush. You could also just use like your bronzer and use that underneath the eye if you didn't want to use like a shimmer. And I am going to add an extra step to this look. It's totally optional. You don't have to do this, but I just like the look that it adds to this. I'm gonna take the highlight shade out of the Milani Brow Fix Brow Kit. If you didn't have this, you could go in with like whatever highlight shade you're using, but I'm taking some of this on my e.l.f. Defining Eye Brush. This little brush was discontinued, but it's just like a small angled little brush. And I'm just going to brush that here underneath the brow and also take a little bit of that and put it here in the inner corner. I think it just really opens up my eye. I don't know if you can, let me get this on the eye all the way so you can see the difference between the two eyes. But the eye with like the highlights and then the eye without. Like, can you tell a difference? Does it seem like it makes my eye like a little bit more opened? I feel like it does anyway, but like once again, it doesn't really take that much extra time to just pop the shade on really quick. But if you did just truly want a one and done look, that shadow I just used on its own is really pretty and looks nice. You don't have to add any other colors to it. The e.l.f. Baked Highlighter and Blush Gems pairs really nice with like a really highlighted brow bone. I just love the way that, that looks together. I'm going to go ahead and mist my face. This product is not a drugstore product, but there are other great drugstore setting sprays. I will link some down below, but this is just my favorite setting spray and I just will always use this. This is the Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray. Like if you want your makeup to last and not budge, that stuff works amazing. Milani has their Make It Last setting spray, which is also really good, but I just like the Urban Decay one. So I know it's slightly more expensive, but to me it's worth it. For my lashes, I went ahead and curled them up with my Tarte Eyelash Curler, and then I applied several coats of the Maybelline lash sensational to my upper and lower lashes. For lips, I'm going to be using the Maybelline Color Sensational Shaping Lip Liner in Gone Grage. <laughs> Just pull it off the little sharpener off the back. <laughs> um, but this is just one of my favorites. <laughs> Let me go ahead and apply it. I'm not very talented at talking and applying lip liner at the same time. But what I was trying to say is this is one of my favorite winter lip colors. Such a pretty cool toned purplish mauve. I know 
and it is a little bit more on the gray tone side. I know that not everybody could wear this, but if these type of colors look good on you, I highly recommend the lip pencil. I actually prefer this over their matte lipstick in Gone Grage. Like I have both, sometimes I wear them together, but I find with the lip liner, it's a little easier to wear, like it's a bit more mauve. And sometimes the Maybelline matte lipsticks like their um, Color Sensational Matte Lipsticks can feel a little drying on my lips where the lip liner doesn't feel that way. And sometimes I can just go ahead and top it with like a lip balm um, and that just adds a little bit of moisture. So I really enjoy this color. Highly recommend it if you love shades like this. I hope that you guys enjoyed this one and done like cool toned winter everyday makeup look. This is one of my go-to winter makeup looks. I absolutely love this. And I hope that you guys enjoy this little series I'm going to do on my channel. Just one and done makeup looks using my favorite one and done eyeshadows. So if you did enjoy this, give this video a thumbs up and I will see you all in the next one. Bye bye. You shouldn't doubt yourself cause you're a work of art